Hello, I've got my mask on. Uh, as you can see, my mask and my gloves. I'm going to take my mask off in a minute because I don't think you can hear me. So, oh, I'll take that off. I don't think you can hear me if I talk with that on. <laughs> right, with this, this little one here, I'm going to make a couple of feather key rings. So, all I'm doing is taking a little bit of mica and just brushing it gently in here this is the like the i don't know what you call it the the bone of the feather i don't know if that's what you call it but i only want it up lightly okay i don't want loads Spread it up. Okay. Do the same this side and this one. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. I'm literally dipping my brush in. I don't know what that is. Get out and walk. How dare you be in my feather. And just basically bring it all up. Still didn't get out. Get out. And that's all you need to do. Just cover that, colour that bit in there. I've just done it grey because my mate wants a white, um, white glistery, glistery one, a uh, twinkly one. I don't know if that's how twinkly that would be. I think I might have to put something different in. It doesn't look that sparkly to me. Um, what am I going to put in that's good and sparkly? Mm. Let's see if this works. Just a cheap glitter that I got out of a set. I don't. I refuse to spend loads of money on things. Tight really, I suppose, but then as this is just my hobby, I'm just not that would do I think. It's my hobby, so I'm just sort of like just getting by on it, you know, buying everything myself and I don't really sell anything. Quite happily just making it and showing you lot how to make it. I hope you're learning from me. I know I learn a lot through my me watching YouTube. Learn a lot from there. I've got a f quite a few that I follow. Um, I follow Sharon Moulton. Um, she's a Canadian lady. Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. She's Australian. Uh, Sharon Lin Lins oh, I can never remember a bloody name now. Sorry, I swear in. Um, Vivid Days, Sharon Lin Lin, Lin blah, 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 yeah, my me, me teeth aren't going to work tonight. Uh, Claire's Crafting Corner, Steve McDonald, uh, because I do. Can do cups as well. Well, I, I attempt to do the cups. I watch Linda Swirl. Um, who else do I watch? Believe it or not, Nick Zametti. He's a wood turner, but he always adds resin. And some of the things he does is amazing. Absolutely amazing what he comes out as. 
um, can't think who else, uh, Artsy Mad Woman, I like watching her, she does all the flowers and I've learnt a lot from that, hence a flower. Um, oh, I can't think who else I watch now. I watch loads, I like, watch quite a few. And it's amazing what you can learn. You know, I said before, I'm no artist. I've not got a clue on art. Um, <clears throat> my brother was the one that used to be able to draw and my dad could draw. But me, <laughs> stickman. Reminds me of the old song, Matchstick Men and Matchstick Cats and Dogs. There's probably a load of you don't remember that one. Right. That's basically that done. I'm not doing the two little ones, I just need them two. So I shall move them over to the side because they're going to have to dry. I shall give them a quick blast with my lighter, my long neck lighter. Obviously I'm not going to put the other saw on it because it will just blow it away for one and two it will burn my mould. Okay. Right. Now for this one we are going to have some fun, or I'm going to have some fun, and hopefully you enjoy watching me. So to begin with, I've made up my resin. It's been stood for about 5-10 minutes while I was messing around with them ones. So, I'm going to put a small layer, let's put that over there, a small layer on the bottom. like so then I'm going to get my rose this is one that I've actually done myself I've dried it with uh, silicon gel I'm going to put that in and squish it around a bit now uh, I will probably end up with um, bubbles with this I just got this feeling I'm gonna end up with bubbles. Take that out. I don't oh I know what that is. It's one of my silicon gels. Oh, get off. Get off. You can't be preserved. Get off. Thank you. Um so I'm just gonna squish it about and hopefully Get a load of see look bubble come out there. I don't know if you saw it. There it is, the bubble. It's come out. Hopefully this is gonna be very good to me and it's not gonna get loads of bubbles. Oh, no, better not use that. That went straight through, really. <laughs> the petal. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, here's another little bubble come out. Ah, oh, broken ugly. Petal, 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 petal off. Oh well. Stick that in somewhere now, somewhere else. Right. Can you lay down, please? Put him back in. I don't know where he came from, but he can go there. That's fine. Just stick a bit of resin on him. Right. So I'm going to have him about there, uh -huh. and then I'm going to put some rose 
leaves and I'm going to somehow put them oh, cack handed Annie here put it under like that and then maneuver oh, I broke another leaf off never mind but I want that underneath my rose like that And then this one, this one's all broken up as well. It's the problem with dried leaves and things like that. Dried flowers, you've got to be so careful with them. And I'm afraid I'm not exactly the most delicate, even though I'm a female. I'm not the most delicate of people. Stick that one in there, like so, and then add that one in there add that to that one oh I've got another one there look I'm going to add that one where should we put that one pull them up a bit you can sit in there like it's come up from underneath <clears throat> I think that's trying to get it sort of centred. I think that's centred. If I keep getting my head in the way, please in, a, in the comments, please tell me. Just say get your fat head out of the way, woman. I'll, I'll understand what you mean. Right, and these, these are um, a friend of mine, her nan passed away and when she moved, I had a load of her plants out of her garden and this is one of the plants and it used to belong to her nan so I thought it'd be nice to be able to dry some of them and put them in there and that's all I'm going to do at the moment and then I'm just going to add a bit more resin on the top Just to try and hold everything where it's meant to go. And then give it a squidgy, squ what's this Steve McDonald says, squidgy widgy. Give it a squidgy widgy. Make sure everything's under. No bubbles. Try and get the bubbles out. Do. I don't know what this is going to turn out like. I shall add a little bit more. Doing it slowly so it doesn't add bubbles and higher because that adds bubbles as well and oh look there get in there you run away like that there's a bit of a rose bud rose leaf that you down there that's run the wrong way isn't it probably what he's trying to say i'm around the wrong way stupid woman there you go I think that one needs to come down on him like that. Now you've got to remember I'm using a micro brush, brush. The head's fallen off admittedly but this is silicon so hopefully it won't damage my mould by me prodding around. Sure, there's no bubbles. Hopefully, add a little bit more. 
not 100% sure how deep I can pour this resin because I've never used it before. I would like it very much if I could pour it all in one go. I don't know if I can because also my rose is rising and falling apart. Get under there. In one respect, I don't mind it rising because it makes it more 3D. But at the same time, oh, big air there. At the same time, I want it to stay under the actual resin. don't think I'm going to get much more in there without it rising right to the top somehow. I shall come back when it's uh, a bit thicker and I shall squish it down a little bit more. Look at that, them leaves have gone all over the place. Look. Right, I shall leave it as that for the moment. Give it a quick whizzy whizzy. Lighter, there you go. Give that another quick blast. With the lighter. Okay, I've got a little bit left. Uh, I should just use it to, I don't think I can get it in there properly, um, just use a baby wipe and wipe this bit up. Good old baby wipes, don't need them just for a baby's bum. Right, okay, let me move that down a fraction and move that down a fraction. See it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt another lot of the hearts. So just going to fill them up, not all the way to the top, because obviously you've got inks or pigments, whichever one you want. I'm going to put ink in this. Uh, and I don't even know what colours I'm going to do. Oops, you're a bit full. Four, I think <laughs> I just put that last little dribble in there might as well Only a dribble dribble get all the resin out I 
Now, even though I haven't got my mask on, I have got the back door open and everything, so I have got an airflow going through. So I'm not completely breaking the rules. Okay. Uh, that. And all I do is baby wipe, a little bit of alcohol, and wipe the gloves. And my gloves are good to go for the next time. Not that I finished yet. Because I've noticed I've got bubbles. I think that's it. Right. Now for these. Uh, what should I put on there? Mm, I should have got this all sorted out. I'll have a yellow, I'll have a pink, I'll have green, it's orange, coral, and that one. Right, okay. I'm just grabbing a, a load of colours giving them a good shake up because if you don't everything sits at the bottom and you don't get the colours enough to come through uh, what's that? oh that's a pigment that's not, that's not what I want. messy green okay I'm just going to randomly put these in What's that one what's this one coral I just hope these don't turn out like mud. That's coral. Uh, I have a bit of magenta. of some bright yellow minus a hair I think I got it. A uh, bit of orange. Oh. Bit of orange and copper.
Oh, all of a sudden it's gone through my head and I'm like, am I using the right white? Blanca Blanca? Or am I supposed to... Oh, I don't know. I can't think. My head's gone dead. <coughs> so, oops, sorry Lacey, just kick the cat. Oops. Let me, where has it gone? Where's it gone? Where has it gone? It was here. Where's it gone? There's another one out. Is that it? Nope. Sorry people, I'm, I had a white out and I cannot find it. That's uh, alcohol, that's the one. Oh, they're pretty colours. Right. Just in case I was using the wrong one, I've just changed it to a different one. And then what I will do is wait for... Mm, I don't know how long this one's going to take. To, as I said, it's a new one I'm using, so I don't know. But I've got to wait for it to go stringy, if it will go stringy. And then I'll come in and swirl it all together. See what happens when it comes all out tomorrow. Well, hopefully tomorrow. I'm not going to do two coats. I'm just going to do it as the one coat. Because some of them are filling up a bit too much. <laughs> I'll end up with the overflow. So, my peoples. How you do that? That's coming on nicely. Oh, big bubble. I shall give that a good old push down again soon, especially the leaves. See, I'm not that bothered if they do float because it makes it nice and three D. I just don't want bubbles in it. And I know that once that's all settled, I've only got to put another little coat on top and it'll be perfect. So, that's about me finished. I shall show you the demolds tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, the day after. It depends on the cure on this. As I said, it's new, so I don't know what the cure in time is. Um, hopefully it comes out well, if it doesn't, oh well, try again. Okay, see you again soon, bye. Hiya, I'm back. Right, this is set up, so we're going to have a go at demoulding, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's turned out nice. Oh wow. Yep happy with that what I'm going to do I was going to put it in a little plinth and put lights on it but the problem with that is is this has got a slope to it because it's actually a, like a cake mold really um, or I suppose that's what it is a cake mold um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to order some chain off of eBay or Amazon or somewhere and I'm going to drill two holes and I'm going to put a chain there at, at two holes here I'm going to put a chain up and it's going to hang on the wall very happy with that oh, I've got a nasty bubble there I didn't notice that one and I got a bubble there but the other bubble that I had which was here and over here some oh no it's still there but the one that was big here what I do is I'll open up the bubble that's an extra bubble there because the bubble was over here I think um, open up the bubble and then when you put the next layer on it should automatically fill that in that's got a little bit of a, a lip to it so what I might do is get my tool 
it's in the front room at the moment um, and just cut the edges off a little bit just to make sure it's not sharp because that's a little bit sharp but if it's going on the wall it doesn't really matter but yeah I'm I'm happy with that I'll put that back in there for a minute and then these oh did I have fun with these these little darlings decided to overflow look so we will start with ones that didn't overflow <laughs> so it's oh I tell a lie because this one's overflowed but that's that one I'm happy with these I think they look quite cute I'll take that bit off I'll cut that bit off but that's the back and I've I've already put a, a clear coat on the back and domed them a little bit so it they are actually finished apart from cutting off these bits so it's that one got nice yellow on the back that actually looks like a bit like a flower leaf flat oh, out of the camera sorry I've got the, the um, tablet round the wrong way that actually looks like a flower if you, I think anyway a flower leaf and that's what it looks like on the front that yellow's just disappeared isn't it near enough but loving that one and then there's this one And that's the other side. I think these are lovely. Not that brilliant at doing the feathered effect as such. That's that one. But to be quite honest, I like the way they've turned out anyway. I think they're I think I've got a bit of feather effect there and a bit here. But I'm, I just I think these are gorgeous. I will make these probably into key rings. There's actually a clear space there as well. Yeah, I think I will make these into key rings. And then we got that one, which is the back. There's quite a bit of pick on that. And that one. Uh, oh, and then we get to the overflows. <laughs> major overflow. <laughs> major, major. <laughs> Don't know if you, there you go, you can see it now. Major overflow. I got a bit excited, I think. But it's still very bendy look, so it won't take much to cut that off. It's still very, very bendy. Look, I can bend it backwards and forwards. I'm going to have to keep learn to put you near the other side of the camera, because I keep going for this side. And then the last two, because they're joined, is these two. I would just snap them apart and cut them apart and just do them. And that's them. I think there's a little, might be a little bit too much dark in some of these. But I'm happy with them. I like them. I really do like them. Teddy bear can't run mould because I haven't finished him. The ones that I done the other day, these ones, I've top coated these. So they're all right to go. They'll be key rings as well. And these two, <laughs> these are the ones which were white. And I decided, yeah, I'll try and put colours through them. Didn't quite work. But what I might do is drill through them, make it into a key ring like that. I mean, they will separate. As you can see, this one se separates easy enough. I don't know if that one will. That might that might have stuck properly. But I might put some super glue or something and stick it together properly. So you've got like a white one, but it's got like a tinge of colour around the outside. Make that into a key ring as well. And then that's it. That's all my work for you to see. I keep trying to do my, my mate's feathers. She wants white with glit uh, glittery, but they're not quite turning out very well. I think that one's okay, but it's not showing the white. The glitter's gone over down the front and they're not 
Look really enough. But they will make them into key rings or something as well. Or even earrings. Maybe earrings. Don't know. Haven't made my mind up on them. So I'll be trying again with some feathers. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's it from me. I shall see you next time. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye.